Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and for this video I'm going to test my mountain bike. So this is 29er mountain bike and I want to conduct a ahon test. So when you say ahon test guys, it is a test wherein you let the bike run on a hilly slope, especially yung paakyat. And let's see if this bike can pull off a particular angle and let's see if this bike can pull off to that kind of road condition. So I saw an isang spot, so actually it is already the boundary between uh, Pulo Molok and General Santos. So, dalawang tula yun. So that uh, bridge is located between Mabuhay, Barangay Mabuhay and uh, Barangay Clean Size of Pulo Molok. The two bridges is quite interesting because it's napakatarik yung pagbaba then yung pagakyat. Bali yung bridge na sa ilalim at sobrang napakadepress ng location niya. So I think that's a good location to apply that test, that ahon test for this uh, mountain bike. So this mountain bike has a speed of 3x7 and in order to conduct that test, we also need to consider the gear to be used while running that kind of uh, upward slope. Bali yung slope don is medyo matarik. I think the grade is almost 50% and kumbaga malapit na siya sa 45 degrees. So napakatarik talaga niya. Okay guys, so bago tayo start let's do the bike check muna. Okay guys, so bali, ito yung shifter and brake where it is Shimano and this is 3x7 speed. So at my left side, ito yung sa brake. So ito yung gear, so merong tatlo dito. Then sa right side, so ito pa din yung brake, then merong 7 gears dito. So this is basically 3x7 speed bike. And for the brakes, this is just mechanical, so hindi siya hydraulic. So, ito yung FD ko, it is Shimano, and may tatlong gear dyan, which is equivalent dun sa uh, left gear na nasa manobela. And this is the RD, still Shimano, TZ, and nandito yung mga gears, pito. And equivalent din yan dun sa right side sa manobela. <music> Okay guys, so we just left Barangay Silway 8 and now we are heading to Barangay Silway 7 or Silway 7. So the name of this road is Silway 8, Silway 7 Road and it connects two barangays. So namely Silway 8 and uh, Silway 7. So it is just like about uh, mga 3 to 4 so 3 to 4 kilometers from my home so as you can see uh, at my right that is the alternate way going to the barangay center but I will not go there so I will push it immediately to clean and size and I will take the clean and size in Washete Road So this road will lead you to Barangay Clean Size. So again, my main purpose for this video is to conduct the Ahon test. So the two bridges are located near Clean Size. It is between the boundary of General Santos and Polomolok. So from Siluayshete to Clean Size, this is just like about 2.5 kilometers. Uh, by the way, time check. Now I think it's 7 a.m. So I am hesitant earlier to do biking today because it is very gloomy since there is a tropical depression that will going to hit northern Mindanao this day. 
So I just waited for the sun to appear and I think now it's better. <laughs> Okay guys, so finally we are now here at Clean and Sides. So that is the bridge. As you can see, it's very steep. So we will go to the opposite direction, then uh, we will be using this bridge from uh, the opposite direction, so later. In order to get there, uh, we need to go to the other side and take the other bridge in the north location, or in the north side. Okay, let's move. Okay guys, so as you can see earlier, I turned right, so going straight in that direction, uh, that will lead you to Polomolok, and this one in General Santos, particularly in Mabuhay and uh, Connell area. Okay, so it's very important to apply uh, proper gears, for, say for example like this one, it is uh, descending, we need to stop first. So especially this one, this is descending, so we need to apply um, high gears like 3 in the left, then high numbers in the right. So in the right you may have 5, 6, 7, or in the left you may have also 2. But sometimes I do not really accelerate when the road is like this because I'm already moving fast. So while I am um, accelerating while going down, I already changed the gear to low gear like say for example 2 and 1 in the left and uh, 1 to 3 at the right side so that's very important to change the gear earlier because it is not advisable to change the gear while going up because it creates tension it creates more tension in the in the chain okay now I'm already 2-2 two, two. so 2 left and to right, I think it's already okay. So I am just doing uh, freewheeling at this part of the road. And I don't really need to change my gear na that much. Because I am already at the low number at my uh, right side. Okay, I'm moving fast. So as you can see, it's very steep. And at this point, I cannot pedal the bicycle because it's very smooth. So I mean just uh, go with the flow. So I will be... Uh, this is okay now. Two, one, two left, one right. Okay, let's start to pedal. So as you can see while going up at the bottom part of the road, you will be able to feel uh, the pedal. It is already hard. Okay, let's move up. Okay. So 
we are now here at uh, General Santos. So we can now set my right gear to a high number. So this is three. So sometimes you need to prepare your contact tracing card because sometimes they uh, need to check your ID. Now I'm on four at my right, still two at my left side. So I will apply a three left later. A5 at my right. So this is six. I think I need seven. <laughs> Okay guys, so this road will lead you to Balangay Connell and I will not go there, I will be turning right to Mabuhay. Okay, this way. So now I need to set my left to 3. Okay, then right 7. Okay guys, so we are now approaching Barangay Mabuhay. And we want to turn right. Okay guys, sumalapit na tayo sa bridge. So, ito na yung bridge kanina, yung pinakita ko nung una. And, let's go! So, guys, napansin nyo mas steep dito as compared sa pinakaunang bridge kung merong kambing. Hindi ako nakapag-bailove dahil may merong kambing. Okay, so, yung talay level. And ito na yung pinakaliki. <laughs> okay, let's move to the low gear. I think one. Go. Ah, so steep. Gabi. Finally. Finally. Woo. Papa, good.
Fala, não, você dá pra dar um oxigênio. Uh! Good thing, itong didadaan ko pabalik is downward na. So, at least hindi nakapagod. Okay, water break muna tayo. So, nakapag water break na ako siglit sobrang nakapagod dun banda so at least this mountain bike is capable of um, climbing in that particular slope medyo napansin nyo as you can see in the actual guys napaka steep it's almost 45 degrees and nawalan talaga ako ng oxygen kanina so I need to drink water at nakapag-rest ng konti I think mga 5 um, minutes lang plus yung water break now I'm currently here at uh, clean and size Siloy Shetty Road and I'm going back to Siloy 8 It's very important to know the gear to be used when climbing, when in downward road, para hindi mas stress yung chain ng bike at hindi karin mas stress kasi kapag hindi sakto yung gear mo pakiat. So surely you will be losing oxygen and it's hard for you to breathe. So dapat yung pressure ng paa is hindi ka anong madiin so that you can still move the bike easily hindi naman sya masyadong easy but at least the burden, yung tigas ng pedal eh mapabawasan okay guys so I hope you enjoyed watching this video if you're new to my channel please subscribe to my channel click the bell button for notification if you have comments suggestions or recommendations uh, you may write them in the comment section below so see you in my next video bye bye